Hey everybody, PT Gazelle here, and as promised, this is the next clip where I'm going to discuss how I go about bending notes technically, I mean what I actually do when I bend notes, and um, hopefully this will clear up some of the questions I've been getting about uh, whether or not the embouchure needs to change uh, for valved bending or whether there's some other secret to doing it, and I thought I would start out by explaining when we bend a note on a, on a non-valved harmonica, it's the, you're still, when you bend like, for instance, the four draw note, a four draw note bend, which is basically one of the first things almost every harmonica player learns how to do because it's a very easy note to bend, okay? When we do that, we are actually producing a tone from that four draw note, and we're bending it down. The reason it's easy to do, though, is because both reeds are vibrating. Both reeds are vibrating, so it makes it easier to bend that note. And I've taken the covers off the harmonica, and what I'm going to do is I'm going to, I'm going to play the note again, Wow, who is the bent note, okay? And if I take my fingernail and I put it inside the slot of the four blow note, okay, and do the, do the bend again. As you can hear, I can kind of get the bend, but without the other reed vibrating, it makes it more difficult and that's the same concept with the valves when the valve is engaged for instance on a seven draw bend the blow note is not functioning and we are doing a single reed bend at that point and they are a little more difficult to do, but I don't believe it's more of an embouchure thing. I believe it's more of just technique and air pressure, forced or constant, not forced, concentrated air pressure, either blow or draw. And uh, what I think, and I've, I've gone back and thought about this quite a bit, I've been doing valved harmonica now, playing valved harmonica now for uh, about six years maybe a little longer than that, not much though. And when I first started to try and do like the six blow bend, it was sounded weak and timid. And I think what's happened is over time I've learned that I need to concentrate the airflow and use a little more pressure but not play hard, if that makes sense. Let me put the covers, let me just kind of set the covers back on here. This is, uh, this, is my, this is my instrument. This is one of the instruments that Seidel now makes as a gazelle method uh, diatonic, half-valve diatonic. It's an 1847 silver made by Seidel. And uh, I change the cover plates. I use uh, the full cover plate, and it's just a preference for comfort, number one. And number two, it's a little more rounded tone than the open back stuff, and it just seems to fit the material that I play a little bit better. Uh, I love the open backs. Actually, I use them on the Noble uh, harmonicas that uh, they make as well. I use those. I use Nobles a lot for low-pitched harmonicas. Anyway, um, let me put the, the cover plates back on here. And on a six blow note, So that's a single reed bend I'm doing. And I think I found over time that what, I'm, what I've done is I've refined my bending technique. I haven't really changed it, but I've refined it. And I use that same technique for valved bends, unvalved bends, blown bends, draw bends. It doesn't matter. The, the basic technique is the same. Uh, and what I do, if you can imagine, um, basically when we say 
ah, and then we switch to the word, the sound of O, watch what happens to your jaw and feel what happens to your tongue because something has to change. In order to make those sounds, we're changing how the air is curving in your mouth cavity. That's what's happening. Ah, ooh, ah, ooh. And look at my jaw. Ah, ah, ooh. And what happens is I feel my tongue go from ah, ooh, ah, ooh. And of course, it's not that much of a movement. You're just kind of rolling it back a little bit. You're kind of humping it and rolling it back a little bit. But there is a pronounced movement of that jaw. And, what, and, and, and if I was visually going to show you from this side, I think it would look like ah, ooh, ah, ooh. So in other words, almost your mouth is going ah, ooh, ah, ooh. everything gets kind of squeezed and concentrated. I don't change the opening. I'm a, I'm a pucker player. Uh, that's all I do is pucker play. I do some octave splits every once in a while for effect. That kind of thing. Like the cover plates are not sitting on here good. Sorry. Um, That's an octave split, okay? That's, I have to employ my tongue there. But 99% of the time, I'm a pucker player, meaning I am making a small hole with my mouth and concentrating air into only one hole at a time on the harmonica. It looks a little funny because I've, I've looked at it from time to time. It's not exactly centered, but that's just my technique. Watch what happens. I'm going to play the note and then just take the harmonica out of my mouth. So that's kind of all the, the gap I've got going there to, to play either blow or draw notes. That does not change when I bend a note. What changes is my jaw position, my tongue position. Very subtle, but look at my jaw. It's almost like I'm almost like I'm biting the harmonica, kind of sort of like gumming the harmonica. Oh, oh. It's a good thing I don't sing for a living. Um, and it's the same whether it's blow or draw for me. This is an unvalved bend. Okay, here is a blow bend. Here's a draw bend. I'm sorry, let's do it. Let's do it this way. Let's stay with a draw bend. Here's a draw valved bend on seven. <laughs> wow, wow, wow. And Good players that pick up valve go, oh, I see, I have to adjust. I've really got to like adjust and, and, and actually play a little bit harder. And then they play for about 10 minutes and they go, well, it's not really harder. It's more of a concentrated airflow. And I have to just kind of go a little deeper with the same technique. And I think that's exactly the key there. Your technique just needs to be refined a little bit more and concentrated a little bit more. Most harmonica players aren't used to using bent notes. A lot of, I shouldn't say most, a lot of harmonica players are not used to using bent notes inside of a melody. Okay? And that's where you can really refine your technique. Pick a couple of songs. The tabbed song on my uh, 
website, Take Me Out to the Ball Game, employs a lot of bends. And if you can play that, you'll learn to play not only blow bends, but regular bends and try and get them on pitch and use them in a song. There's a three draw bend. There's your four draw bend. Da, la, da, da, That's a five blow bend. Three draw bend again. There's your six blow bend. Okay? That's your major seventh in second position. So again, to me, my technique changed when I started my, my I refined my bending technique when I started doing half valved playing on a diatonic harmonica. The technique didn't really change, but I refined it and made it better. I made it a little more forceful and a little more concentrated. Concentrated probably is the more correct word here. A little more concentrated and a little more refined because, again, the single reed bends, you're manipulating one reed. You don't have that helper sympathetic reed to help vibrate and produce the tone. So I hope this has been helpful. So the keys, again, for me is you're refining a technique you already do. And again, you've got to be a good bender of notes. You really need to be a good bender of notes, not only to play valve harmonica, but to just be a good harmonica player. I mean, that's where we get the sound out of a diatonic. That's what people like, man. That's what they, that's what they really respond to. Because it's almost like singing. And that's what this does that a chromatic doesn't do. Okay? And the valves just give us that, that roundness and that shading and that emotion over the whole instrument. So I hope this has been helpful. And uh, you can visit my website at www.ptgazelle.com. And uh, the tab I talked about is there in the uh, Gazelle Method section. And uh, there's harmonicas for sale there as well. And uh, please feel free to write me and love to hear from you. Thanks.